name is Andrea, my friends call me E, and welcome to my YouTube channel. I make videos that are focused on those who are trying to start a new chapter in their life. Wanting you all to understand that everyone struggles, it's normal, no one is perfect. So here I am exposing myself, telling you all the real deal of what it's like to not only start a new chapter, but making new friends, being in a new city, being a new homeowner. I just want to give you all the real deal. So if that sounds like some content you may be interested in, make sure you subscribe to my videos so you don't miss my weekly uploads. Okay, so here's a disclaimer. I've been doing online dating on and off since 2011. Nothing has really ever come from it. Um, I might have talked to this person here and there, my last relationship, actually. Him and I met um, via an online dating site. But that's a story for another time. Anyway, um, anytime you're doing online dating, here's my advice. If you're going to meet with the person, you should definitely meet in a public place, a restaurant, a mall, whatever, right? So you feel comfortable. There's witnesses around. If you do not feel comfortable, you can get out of the situation. Well, anyway, I joined this site. That's not an online dating site. I must add, it's called meetup. Meetup is a site that's actually um, you know, you meet people who are interested in some of the things you may be interested in. For example, there may be a group called Black Professionals Who Love to Travel. Join the group. And they may have activities or trips coming up. And, you know, this is like your invitation to go um, to see what events that these groups may have. Well, I joined um, Meetup in Dallas when I moved here uh, in 2019. Um, I don't know really which groups I'm in, I, you know, I joined. I have not gone to any of their activities virtually, in person, none at all whatsoever. And so one day I was just sitting here trying to think of some content to create. And I just got on Meetup just to see, you know, what kind of groups are still out there, what's going on. And I got on and I saw a message from um, a guy that I've never met, never seen before. Um, he sent me a message on February 28th. Um, I want to say I checked my messages. It might have been like May 12th <laughs> when I checked and saw that this guy had sent me a message. And the message went along the lines of, you know, I really like your profile. You know, you look very attractive. I would love to get to meet you. Um, maybe take you out for some coffee one day. Um, you know, my name is whatever. I am an IT um, specialist or professional. I'm 30 whatever years old. Um, you know, maybe I'm somebody that you may be interested in. You know, please give me a message back. I hope, you know, this message finds you well. Something along those lines. Now, keep in mind, like I said, this message was sent to me on February 28th. I didn't read it until like May 12th, May 15th, something like that. Details doesn't matter, right? So... At first I was like, hmm, this is <laughs> awkward because one, Meetup is not a dating site. Again, I've been on a number of dating sites and Meetup is not it at all, right? On Meetup, you have maybe one picture in your profile. So it's not like, you know, he could see me in a bunch of pictures, different poses, different hairstyles, any of that, anything of that nature, right? Same, I can't really see, you know, really what he looks like. Um, he told me his name, but how am I going to find out really what this guy looks like, um, you know, to see if I may be interested? Well, not really focusing on looks. I said, you know what? Why not? Right. You're in Dallas. You're in, you know, you're starting a new life chapter. The old me would have been like, no, no, whatever. But new life chapter. I'm like, why not? Let's, you know, let's, let's, let's go out, get something to eat. I don't mind. Why not? So um, we did not exchange phone numbers. Um, I messaged him back. Of course, the first thing I did was apologize for just now seeing his message months later. And of course, you know, he was very like, you know, timing is, it is what it is. I'm, I'm glad you responded. Let's absolutely get together for a happy hour, dinner, whatever. Um, let's meet. And so uh, we did meet. We went to a restaurant called Kona Grill um, here in North Park in Dallas. Um, 
we had about a 30 minute wait. And so within that time, um, waiting for the table, you know, we talked, it was regular conversation. He asked me questions. Um, I responded back. It did not feel like an interview whatsoever. Um, the awkwardness started to kind of fade away because again, like I said, it's not a dating site. <laughs> So we didn't really get to know too much about each other in our profiles. It's not going to be, you know, this is what I'm looking for. Um, I don't have any kids or, you know, I'm originally from this area. All of that information is not really in my meetup profile and neither um, is it in his. And so it was like starting fresh. And so the reason why I call it a semi-blind date is because, again, he had one picture. Okay, so let me rewind. He had one picture, but me being E, right? I had to Google. Um, the way that he spelled his name was a way I have never seen it. And so I just went in Google, right? And I started Googling, couldn't find anything, right? So I said, you know what? Let me try LinkedIn, right? You're a professional. So I went on LinkedIn and I found him. So that way I found his last name and then I Googled. I don't care what anybody says everyone Googles, right? So even if you're on a dating site, when you meet somebody, I'm sure you're Googling. If you're not, you should. Okay, so we ate dinner, we conversed, we talked, whatever. We asked about siblings, we asked about um, future travel plans, summer plans, um, you know, activities that we currently do. Do you work out, you know, go to the gym? What kind of shows you like to watch? What kind of movies do you like? It was a regular conversation, had dinner. So um, at the end of the meal, <laughs> at the end of the meal, um, the waitress brought the check. He put his card in, she walked away, whatever, whatever. So we're just sitting there still talking. Um, and like I said, it was good conversation. It was normal conversation, nothing awkward or anything of that nature. And so the waitress came back and she whispers something in his ear. Now I have to ear hustle, right? So I have to pretend that I can't hear, but I can hear. And she is saying something along the lines of, is it American Express? Because it's not going through. And I'm just sitting there like, oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> what you mean it's going through? <laughs> now this has never, ever, ever happened to me, right? So again, I'm pretending I don't hear anything. And I'm just sitting there on my phone while they're talking. I don't know what I was doing, looking at the news. I could have just been on my home, home screen pushing buttons. Either way, I have to pretend I'm not, I'm not hearing anything. So she leaves and, um, you know, we start talking about something. And I was like, hey, what's up? You know, is everything all right? Because he kind of, he got on his phone and he started like, you know, pushing buttons. I was like, is everything all right? And he was like, yeah, she just saying that my car didn't go through. But I, you know, I'm good. Like I have money. I don't know what's going on. And so now this is when the old E would have been like, oh, you want me to, you want me to get it? You know, it's okay. And he was like, you know, well, again, old me didn't say anything. New me was just like, oh, mm, <laughs> okay. Because I'm thinking, okay, so how are we going to rectify this situation? Because I'm not paying, right? You asked me out months ago so you should already have the coins together so he was like but no you know i'm good i'm good so i said okay cool so um he was like i just need her to come back and get the check and so she comes back you know not he didn't even finish that statement and she was back she got the check um and then she came and um as she was walking back he gave her a thumbs up and she you know gave him a thumbs up like we're good and so first, again, I have never been in that situation. I really don't know how I would have handled myself if it didn't go through this time. Uh, but I must commend the waitress because that waitress literally, like she did not come back to the table, you know, being loud or rude or trying to blast him or anything. She did not come back and say, oh, your car didn't go through. You got another form. Nothing at all whatsoever. She whispered in his ear. Again, I'm ear hustling, so it wasn't her fault that I heard. But either way, I appreciate that, you know, because that's embarrassing. And so um, that was thing number one. And 
since then, you know, everything was fine. Everything was good. We didn't even talk about it anymore. We just got up and left. And so we made plans to go out the upcoming Thursday to go to happy hour. And so, um, you know, once he confirmed with his schedule and I was like, yeah, you know, I'm Thursday, I'll be free. That's probably like the only day I have free. It's Memorial Day weekend. You know, nobody wants to really, you know, like take up time, right? So that happened Sunday. Thursday, we were planning on going out. Thursday morning, and actually Sunday, um, Sunday through Thursday, we had been texting just here and there like, hey, how's your day going? How are you feeling? You know, whatever, just basic nothing in depth kind of conversations via text and we hadn't talked over the phone but thursday morning came and i was like hmm, i wonder if we're still going out so i sent him a text and i said hey are we still on um uh, for this afternoon and he said well no i have to go out of town to do whatever and i said oh, okay and this is about 11 30 i want to say 10 30 11 30 in the morning and i was like oh okay but in my mind i'm thinking now you knew this Wednesday that you had to go out of town to do whatever it is that you said you had to do. So why wouldn't you just tell me? Why wouldn't you communicate that with me? Why wouldn't you just text me? Why did I have to reach out to you and find that out? Now, this is my question. If I would not have reached out to him and asked him Thursday morning, if we were still on for that, that afternoon, would he have texted me or let me know anything? I don't know. Either way, I'll take it as a sign as, you know, he's not feeling me, which is cool. He, I, he's not really my type, but, you know, that's very, what's my type when I'm single, right? I don't know. Um, I can have a preference, but mm, can I be picky as a single person? I don't know. Either way, um, the date was cool. Um, I haven't talked with him since. He hasn't informed me on whether or not he... Um, went out of town. He did whatever he had to do. Again, it's a holiday weekend. He could still be out of town. Not that deep. In the meantime, I'm going to just get ready to go out, hit a day party or two or three. Again, I am just enjoying this new chapter. I am not trying to, you know, dwell too much, think too hard about anything. Um, and I don't know if I would go back to you know, just meeting people online, whether it's a dating site or not. I think I'd rather just get out and make myself available um, because again, it's getting warm out. It's, you know, people are getting vaccinated. The world is open, at least here in Texas. So I'm like, you know, just, just be out there instead of just being cooped behind a computer or a phone, scrolling through, hitting left, not interested, whatever. Um, so overall, the date wasn't bad. Um, it was okay. I mean, it wasn't awkward. <laughs> I can appreciate that because I've been on some awkward dates. Again, story for another time. Um, he, again, not really my type of guy, but he seems very nice. He seems very like um, well-mannered, um, very polite. Um, he was, he was, he was a nice guy. Uh, but I think that was the end of it <laughs> based on Thursday's response. And by the way, today is Sunday and I still haven't heard from the guy. So I'm just going to say based on that, I don't think I will ever see or talk to him again. It's no love loss. Um, everything definitely happens for a reason. Um, but, you know, until then, the struggles of dating in Dallas continues. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you don't miss any upcoming struggle videos. So that's my story time. That one time and probably the only time I'm ever going on a semi-blind date with someone that I met online that wasn't even on a dating site. I don't think I would do that again. Let me know your thoughts. Would you have gone out with somebody that you met online that wasn't on a dating site? Have you ever gone out with somebody you've met online that wasn't on a dating site? Let me know your experience. Would you have done the same and gone out? What would you have done if the waitress came over and said your date's card didn't go through? Would you volunteer your money? <laughs> or would you just say, hmm, not my problem? <laughs> Let me know your thoughts. 
Can't wait to see your comments below. Make sure you like and subscribe to my videos so you don't meet, miss my weekly uploads. Bye.